Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using SARS e-filing. Today I'm going to show you how to register for e-filing. You can go to your Google homepage and type in, in the search bar e-filing. Click on the first link here, SARS e-filing.co.za. And you can click on login. And then you click on register. This will take you through the e-filing registration process. It is quite easy to use, I find it. And uh, just read through this and read through the terms and conditions at your own time. And you click on I accept and click continue. We'll take you to this page and you will select the type of user that you are. You are more than likely an individual taxpayer click on OK. Eventually you will land on this page, individual user, quick registration. You will have to fill out all the details here, initials, first name, surname, date of birth will give you a drop down box and you can select the date. You, could, you have a choice here between South African ID and your passport. Uh, you have to have a tax reference number in order to register for your e-filing profile. And then register for provisional tax. You can tick yes, especially if you know in future you might be or become a provisional taxpayer. This is particularly useful, especially when you um, earn other income other than employment income. And if you have a small business and you are still a sole proprietor, then you would need to tick provisional tax. If you're just employed, you don't have to tick it. If you're married or no, you can tick out of, out of community or in community of property. If you're not, you can just tick no and the box will disappear. Put in your home number, fax number, who use faxes these days, and then your work number. Uh, SARS will SMS you and if you don't want SMS notifications you can tick no and you won't get SMSs from SARS but it's fairly useful to have this option ticked. Put in your cell phone number and your email address and then all your your physical address, postal address, work address. You also have an option to put in your banking details if you have banking details. I don't know there are so many banks in South Africa, but in any case, you are likely not a practitioner, so you can skip this part. If you are, you would select the practitioner registration process instead of the individual registration process. Here you can put in a locking name. For example, if I use Peter or Peter 5, SARS will actually add four digits to the Peter 5. So it will be Peter 51465. And that will be the login name, for example. You can put in your passport, your password, and then it must be at least six characters long, one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one digit, and one special character. Then you have to fill out the security questions and you need to keep this information safe and available if you ever log out, log yourself out of your own profile. So your profile can log out um, can, and then you have to give your security answers before SARS will allow you to go back in. So don't make that same mistake as I did. Select all print and this this you can do on uh, on Google Chrome you can just select save as PDF and it will save all the details that you filled in do this before you click on the register button after you've done that you can click on register so you'll get an e email or an SMS from SARS to say that you've registered for e-filing and that you can use your profile 
Um, next time we are going to look at how to use your ePhone profile once you have registered. Thank you. I hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.